Hey, hi and welcome. All right. So what have I got out here for you? Well, this is one of my two boiling canners. And it's a little bit wet right now. I'll just take that off just to show you how it kind of works. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. These things are a little bit dirty, so I'm going to have to kind of clean them up. But basically, got this nice clean jar here. And uh, you set it in like that. Okay. And you can drop it down. Let me see. When do the jars drop? That's the, the the reason for the basket is is so that the bottom of the jar is not right on the burner element, right? So, uh, and you know, direct heat. So this kind of creates a little bit of space. So you can do that. And the other thing I'll show you is when you go to take them out, uh, or before you take them out, is you leave that in there. Uh, I'll go through the procedures later on when I start doing it, but you can see like the, there's like a corrugation in the, uh, bottom of the, uh, the pot here. I don't know how old this pot is, probably older than I am. Got two big ones like this, so I do want to get a pressure canner. I thought my mom had one, but I guess she didn't. Um, and, uh, but my mom used these quite a bit. I mean, uh, many a good preservatives came out of this thing. Uh, so yeah, so that's, you're going to have a rack like that. And then you're going to put your jars in like so. And you can do one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, this will do up to the quart jars if you drop it down. And then to take them out, I got that there. I think that's just, that's something else. But this is what I was looking for. When you go to take them out, that's how you take them out and you put them in. Nice little simple little tool. Uh, you basically... Uh, you, you're going to put your jars in there about an inch above, uh, you know, like with a rolling boil, what they call a rolling boil. So not really a simmer, but more like a, it's a boil, but it's not like boiling over. So about an inch above the jars. Now, what I see some people doing, and, uh, oops, jars dirty. Uh, what some people are doing is uh, basically the, because you can't just put the jars in in there cold or they'll explode on you. So what you do is, what people do is uh, when they're heating up and boiling the water, they put the jars in with the lids off. Uh, that sterilizes them plus, uh, you know, it, it also heats up your jars. So when you take your jar out, like so, okay. And you fill it up with all your good stuff. The jars, you know, you might let the jar cool a little bit. Put all your good stuff in there. Okay, and then you put all your good stuff in there and you grab the jar again and put the, you know, put the lid on it and all that stuff. And the lids are preheated a little bit uh, in, uh, again, like a simmering, not a simmering, but like a hot water. Uh, you get different recommendations. Everybody's going to have their style. But the idea is so that, you know, you don't want cold glass going into boiling water and exploding on you. So that, that's pretty much the once it's in there. Then you drop it down with all your stuff in it. Throw your lid on if you need to. Retain the heat. It might boil over a little bit. Adjust your, your temperature. I'm going to get a burner, so... Uh, I don't know if you could boil it off of barbecue. I can imagine you could, but that would be a very inefficient way to do it. Uh, so a direct bur burner is one, my next thing that i got to get. So I'm pretty much ready for canning. I uh, just gonna have to clean these off really good. They've been in the basement a while, so I gotta give these a really good clean. I uh, give the rack a really good clean, and uh, I'll clean the two of those today. It'll be it's gonna be a few weeks before I, I even can anything. My goal is to get a pressure canner. I'll have these two canners, and my goal will be to get a burner. I had a burner, but uh, I'll just show you what what's going on with my burner. And then I'll wrap up the video. How much? Yeah. Try to keep the video short under. Uh, at 11 minutes and 48 seconds, it splices the video, and then I have to do part one, part two, and so that. This is my junk pile that uh, we're getting rid of. If I had my Doomer truck, it'd be on the back of there, ready for the whatever. But this burner here, uh, I got it, but um, it's it's just way too far gone for me to resurrect it. So I should keep the regulator off of that though, and that. But uh, it'd be something like that which is meant for a turkey fryer. And here's my dog, my girl. She's doing a lot better the last past two days or so. So, uh, I'm gonna do it for time. Okay, yeah, so the goal is to 
have these on maybe two burners and then I can preheat the lids maybe even on the regular stove but it's nice to have everything on one shot so I don't know what I'm going to do for a stove um because it'd be nice to have a four burner gas stove outside then you could do it all in one shot and everything nice and close to each other for for time's sake right but uh, it'll be however it's going to be however I set it up and uh, I just wanted to show you this is kind of like basically the main tools you're going to get then you could put down some cloths and whatever and then you might need another pot just to uh, preheat the lids a little bit uh steering light you can use this to pop to sterilize your jars uh the reason why i don't want to do it on the regular stove is that on the regular stove the problem is you end up burning them out and that's what happened with my mom when she would can like we'd get the first year no problem end up burning out an element or something like that because you would can a couple of hundred jars at a time right or you know in a day in a week or two and then suddenly the stove would start to get weak you know like it was no longer just burning out elements that you would uh um i mean you get you get away with it one year then the second year and then the third year your stove's done you know what i mean uh so canning because because you have the stove on pretty much all day you know like if you're only canning six jars that's one thing but to get a pot of water boiling that's you know that that, that much water in there that takes a little bit to um that's going to take a little bit to uh to uh you know to, to get up to temperature and stuff like that upside down let it kind of air dry uh, i gotta clean all the contaminants i'm gonna clean this with a wire brush probably uh maybe some sandpaper or whatever just to get all the contaminants out there's a little bit of rust or whatever in there it's been sitting for a while so i'm gonna get this all cleaned up and then uh, really cleaned and as sterile as possible uh what i'll probably do is a couple of pre-boiling with nothing in it uh just to just to sterilize the whole equipment itself and then to sterilize my jars i believe you just you know in boiling water for 10 minutes at a time the lids again the rings you don't have to worry about because they're on the outside but it's uh these lids here i'll, I'll be buying new ones because they say you can only use them once some people get away with it using them again it's just they can only guarantee it's going to seal once uh, so that's that's what it is so you could try it but like you still keep these lids anyway because like sometimes what happens is when i put them on like that and i leave the jar uh when i go to use the jar and i open it up i hear Psh! So that means that lid already sealed so that, that lid could probably be reused uh, but some of them might not they might get dented they might get uh, warped or whatever but if you uh, can something and you you hear that that means it's not sealed right so like right now it's not tightened down there but so uh yeah that's what i got going on for now i just thought i'd show you the pot how it works uh you could probably find these all over the place in yard sales and you would still buy them new yeah, this one's again use a little bit of, i got two the same size they just haven't been cleaned in a while so get all that rusty stuff out of there and make it look good again uh just you know kind of like making sure because you don't want these contaminants in the water while you're boiling boiling them either because that that could uh, contaminate the jars and then you can get uh, bacteria in there and stuff like that or you know contaminants in there so you want as sterile as possible so might take a little bit to clean it uh, properly, but clean your pot properly and then, then go to it. So anyway, I just thought I'd show you that uh, so you guys know what you're looking at. There's my cat. There's Gazoo, so yeah. Right, Gazoo? There's ne not even an acknowledgement. Not, not even close. Not even close. All right, there we go, guys.